Welcome, welcome, welcome to an exciting video of Company House 3 with me, host Flux. Today we're going to be checking out the German army, checking out their abilities, all the battle group abilities, all the units. So if you like it, please like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. And please think about subscribing so you can check out more cool content. So let's get into it. First up, we have the German HQ. And in this building, you're going to be making Pioneer Squads. And you're also going to be making Kettengrads. And also, you have the Mechanized Field Marshal, which will unlock Advanced Tactic Upgrades and Panzer Division CQ. And it'll unlock loads of things for your Grenadiers. You can get M24 stick grenades, Armored Scout cars. You can deploy Regal Mines and the SDK FZ2251 Half-Tracks. You'll get upgrades as well. So, Also here, you'll be getting the Constructor Infantry Division. Your Luftwaffe Field Division, your Panzer Grenade Division, and the Panzer Division. Okay, let's check out the infantry. Hit up, we have the Pioneer Squad. These guys can be upfitted with the Flamethrowers, which are really good against uh, infantry. They can also be given a utility package so they can have minesweepers and wire cutters and stuff. And then they can also make defenses. And oh, these guys can make quite a lot. You've got your usual sandbags, wire. And you've got a new fighting nest, which is a wooden structure they can just get inside and hold territory with. A bit like a bunker. A bit less HP. And then you get your tank traps. They can put down mines, because mine win games. And then you've also got your concrete bunkers, which are much more strong. And they're up there. The Pioneer Squad also has the repair tools. So you can use this for repairing vehicles or bunkers and bridges. So really good if you've got an injured tank. Pull them back to where it's safe and use these... Pioneer squads to repair your vehicles. And once they require and get VET 1, they also have the ability to salvage wrecks. And the pioneers will run over and get additional fuel from destroyed vehicles for you. Next up, we got the Kettengrad. This thing can be upgraded with a MG34 machine gun. Take on them pesky infantry, which is cool. It's also got the deploy tripwire flares. And you can plant this anti personnel mine that triggers a flare launching into the air and they'll let you know when they are coming to take a point or whatever and you can also do a quick scan it's got to be stood still and then when you click this whatever direction it's facing it'll let you see a bit further into the fog of war and then you've got the mobile repair which will allow the kit and grad crew to repair nearby vehicles but you're going to need vet up to get that okay so i found this on another playthrough also at your hq you can have a goliath sdk fz303 Remote controlled vehicle bomb. Just like in the uh, original company. Though. So this is sick. It's a remote controlled explosive dice. Can be detonated at will. So you can park it on a VP and when they come into cap it, just blow them to bits. It's effective against groups of infantry and light vehicles, encampments, and bridges. So it's very nice to have. And it's going to cost you 100 munitions to the player in, in the game, though. Okay, so now we're going to make a Goliath. Now that as Goliath has been created, we are going to use it on this infantry just to his right here. And it says here. And the detonate detonates its cache of explosives, creating a massive explosion capable of damage and destroying any targets in range. Let's move it in. Get the units in position. Let's see the huge explosion. Whoa! Three men down every squad. <laughs> Next up, we have the infantry division. And in here, you'll be making your grenadier squads, your heavy machine gun teams, your mortar teams. Your light armoured scout cars. And you'll also be able to tech up to an advanced light mechanised tactics. Which will unlock your scout car. And also you can make it into a medic station. And it'll dispatch medics to your HQ. And it'll heal infantry when they come in when they've been retreated and such. So, let's check out the Grenadiers. Then we'll check out these bomb abilities. So here we have his Grenadier squad. These dudes can build sandbags and wire, and they can also make the fighting nests. The Grenadier Squad also has this anti-vehicle rocket. It'll fire a Panzerfaust rocket at the target vehicle, and damage it, and also snare the enemy vehicle at close range. It's uh, most effective when the vehicles that are already damaged, but if you're in a pinch and you need to do some damage to an enemy tank or light vehicle, just blast them with this Panzerfaust. They also come with the incendiary grenade, which will throw an incendiary grenade to burn out units, say, in a building, which is also very handy. 
And as well, at Bet One, you get fast capture. Grenadiers can capture territory more quickly. So also very useful. The Grenadier Squad also has the Squad Merge ability. The Grenadiers will reinforce the targets caught on the field. The Grenadier Squad can be completely merged if already under strength. So let's try and use it on these guys. Guys are running over. And they've made these guys into a six-man team now. And the other team, the original one, are now down to a three-man team. So a useful ability. They use it to recrew MGs, mortars, AT guns, whatever. Or even other grenadiers. So very, very useful. And then lastly, you've got your promote abilities for promoting your grenadier squads to a pan's grenadier squad. And also a Jaeger light infantry squad. So let's check that out. Okay, so we're going to be promoting these guys to a Jaeger light infantry squad. There we go. Cracking on doing the upgrading. And now we have our lovely Jaeger Inventory Squad. Now these guys, these guys can have a Panzer Trick. So they can take on the uh, enemy vehicles, which is cool. They also get a fire rifle grenade, which is smoke, which can cover advances. And then you've got Tank Hunter Combat Group. Get a bonus when working with your Marder. Tank Hunters, that's cool. Right now we will promote these guys. We're going to promote them to the Panzer Grenadier Squad. So they'll run back in the building and then we'll just wait for them to come out. All upgraded. Okay, here they are. That's Panzer Grenadier Squad. Now these guys have the ability to throw a bundle grenade. So if you can land this directly on the enemy, it causes a huge amount of damage. They also have the Sprint ability. And then when they vet up, they've got the heavy assault combat group. And when they're near Stugs, um, when they're when they near a Stug tank, Panagrenadiers receive a combat bonus when working with stunt tanks. That's cool. And then they also have the breach ability. So if you want to take an enemy position and they're holding out a building, an MG or whatever, smoke it off, run in, quickly breach. Very helpful. Next up, we have the heavy machine gun team. You want to set these guys up to suppress infantry and move them to different positions. If you're trying to get flanked, and they can also fire white phosphorus rounds when they get to VET 1. And that will increase their armored penetration. Next up, we've got the mortar team. And these guys have got a few abilities. Here they are. We have a fire high explosive barrage, which will indirect fire at a target location of your choosing. You can also have a smoke barrage of your choosing, and this, you can use this to block off, say, a MG so you can flank it. I'll just straight up charge it. And then you've also got a vet one anti tank barrage. So you can cause a little bit of damage to the enemy vehicles. Next up, we have the light scout car. Here is the default version that you'll start out with. And these guys can plant Regal 43 anti tank mines. So it'll be useful for causing a bit of damage to enemy tanks. They also, when they vet up, get the Blitzkrieg ability. Which increases the speed of selection reload speed. Now these guys can be upgraded with the radio set. And that gives them a antenna on the scout car. And can reveal moving enemy units in the fog of well. 75 meters away. Which is good. And also you have the anti-tank gun. Now they can cause a bit of damage to enemy tanks. And here it is on this version of the scout car. And this also unlocks covering smoke. And you've got your same vines and your Blitzkrieg. Next up, we have the Luftwaffe Field Division CQ building. And in here, we have the Advanced Mechanized Tactics upgrade, which will unlock your Black Panzer Wind and Morder Tank Destroyer, the third version of it. So, and also we've got the Jaeger Light Infantry, which we'd covered a bit earlier, with their G43 rifles. And then we've got the sniper, so good for doing some stealthing around and sniping infantry with their awesome G43 scoped rifle. And then we have the anti-tank black gun team. It's heavy weapon and effective all ranges, and it's got a 20 millimeter flat gun. Okay. And then we have the flat panzer whirlwind. This is good for fighting your enemies' light vehicles and infantry. And then we have the Marder 3 tank destroyer, good for all your anti-tank needs. So, first up is the Jaeger Light Infantry that we saw before with the G43 rifles. They've got smoke grenades to use. They can be upgraded with the rockets, the Panzer Shrek, 
take on the enemy's armor. And they also have the tank hunter group ability once you get some better up. And it's for the uh, Marder tank hunters. It receives a combat bonus when they're around them. And next up, you've got your sniper. You can set him to hold fire. So if you want to just sneak somewhere and wait and see what's going on, or if you want to counter snipe someone, you want to use the hold fire and then turn it off and snipe their sniper when he comes out of cover. They also have the mark target ability at bet one, which is for increased received accuracy on the marked target. Very good. Then we have the anti-aircraft flak gun team with their 38 20mm gun. They can lay down suppressive volleys as well, which is cool. And here we have it, suppressing fire. It increases the rate of fire at the cost of accuracy. And the enemy infantry was suppressed and an increased rate of fire will take less damage. Mm, very good. Then you also have the button vehicle ability, which will allow you to slow the movement of an enemy vehicle and its line of sight. So you could try and take it out one of your... Other, say, AA anti-tank guns or one of your, one of your tanks as well. And then you also have the white phosphorus rounds for increased penetration when you get to vet one. So, very useful. Then we have the flat panzer whirlwind itself. And then this one, you can focus vehicles on or off. Same with the uh, talent to fire or not to fire. And then you have the blitzkrieg, which increases the vehicle's movement speed, acceleration, reload speed. Very nice. Good unit for taking on infantry. If there's so much infantry they're using. This is your boy. You want one of these. Keep backing it up so it doesn't get taken out too easily with the enemy's anti-tank stuff. And then we also have the Marder 3 Tank Destroyer. This bad boy will be used when you're trying to take on the enemy's tanks and such. And it comes with the fire tungsten core anti-tank shells. Loads of tungsten core armor piercing shell for a short duration. And it increases penetration and damage against all vehicles. So very useful if you're fighting some enemy tanks. And maybe even some of the heavy tanks. If you use this ability with it. And then you also with this one got the Blitzkrieg. So you can get flanking speed or runaway speed. Depending on your situation you're in. Here we have our Panzer Grenadier Division. And in here we're going to be doing the Advanced Assault Tactics Upgrade. Which will unlock the Nebelwerfer Rocket Launcher Team for you. And also your Stug 3 Assault Gun Tank. Also in here, you make your Panzer Grenadier Squad, you'll make your 88mm anti-tank guns, you'll have your medium armoured personnel carriers, the 251s. You'll also have Nebelworth, a rocket launcher team, and your Stug 3 assault gun tank. For your first unit, we'll be looking at the Panzer Grenadier Squad again. These guys come with the Throw Bundle Grenade, the M24 Stick Grenade Bundle. Very good at taking on infantry if you can land it directly on them. They also have the sprint ability, good for flanking things or just charging the enemy. And then they also have a VET Heavy Assault Combat Group. Panzer Grenadiers receive a combat bonus while working with the Stug Assault Tanks. Then we have our 88mm anti-tank gun team with their 75mm anti-tank gun. So contradictory there with it saying 88mm, but okay. But these grip taking on the enemy tanks. You can tell it to shoot everything or just focus tanks or not shoot at all if you want to come out and make an ambush. You can also have the fire tracer round. It loads a tracer round into your gun and the vehicle hit by the tracer round has an increased received penetration and accuracy for short duration. So good if you can hit the enemy with that one. And then follow up with the other guns or tanks. And it also has as a passive vehicle awareness when you reach that one and tracks nearby moving vehicles in the fog of war so that could be very useful uh, next up we have the medium armored personnel carrier 251 it's great for just supporting your infantry and he has the ability to recruit weapons it also can be upgraded with a 75 millimeter howitzer so if you want to drop some big damage on the enemy that's the upgrade for you and also you can upgrade it as a medical half track so is it, as it's supporting roles to go out there and help your infantry or whatever and rest of your teams, send it out there and upgrade on the go. Very useful. And it also comes with Blitzkrieg at Vet 1. So you're getting the speed boosts again and the accuracy and reload speeds are all faster. The armoured personnel carrier also has the ability to recrew weapons. So if there's a downed MG, mortar and such, you can just click this ability and click on the actual thing that's on the floor and they'll have some guys run out and reman it for you. So then you can just get it back up to full health or run away with it back to your base healing or whatever you want to do 
Next up, we have your Nebelwerfer rocket launcher team. Great for bombing enemy infantry. So you want to be using this. You're fighting blobs of infantry. Comes with the fire high explosive rocket barrage. Fires a salver and incendiary rockets. And you can just burn them all. Super great. You can land it on them. Very useful. And it also comes with a vet one. The anti-tank barrage. So that'll be useful uh, in a pinch. I mean, you'll have to vet it up first, but if you need something to shoot a tank and you ain't got a tank gun, and this has got a vet and you've already got one because you're fighting a lot of infantry, just use it. It's there. Why not use it? Next up, we have the Stug 3 anti-assault tank. Here we go. And this one has good upgrades of the MG42 machine gun. If you're fighting a lot of infantry, you want to definitely upgrade that because usually this kind of tank ain't great against infantry, but that'll help a lot. And then also you want armor skirts. Increases arm by 25% and reduces income and damage by 10%. So very useful indeed. When you've got the free resources, these two upgrades will be great for you. Then we've got the high explosive rounds, making it much better at fighting inventory. Because usually it'll be firing anti-tank rounds. So if you find a lot of inventory and you're in a pinch and this is what you've got, it uses that ability. And it also comes with the Blitzkrieg ability of Vet 1 for the increased vehicle speed acceleration and reload times for flanking or escaping. Okay, here we have another ability that is available on the game. Where you can upgrade any building that you can put people inside and create a forward barracks. This converts a neutral structure into a forward barracks and now which produce infantry units and reinforced nearby squads. Okay, once that's upgraded, which took a little while, we are now have the ability to make a grenadier squad, a heavy MG team, and a mortar. And as I said, this is available to British Americans and Germans. So if you want to make a position on the front line in any of the buildings and fight from there, well worth using. This ability to reinforce. Now we'll be looking at the battle group abilities for the German faction here. First up, we have the German company reinforcements, which is a vehicle calling ability. We'll call in a Panzer IV, a half track, a grenadier squad, and a pioneer squad. Let's click that and get them in. Here we have them all. We've got his grenadier squad. We've got his pioneer squad. We've got his Panzer IV medium tank. And we have our personnel carrier and they all have their available upgrades so you got the uh, M um, mg the armor skirt and on this one you can turn it into a howitzer and a medical unit so it's very good next up we have the german detachment reinforcements another vehicle calling ability i'm going to get two grenadier squads so not really a vehicle calling ability but there you go you get two grenadier squads these guys come with all your usual abilities. And they're kind of eight rifles. Get fighting if you need a bit of infantry all of a sudden. Great ability. Next up, we're going to have a bombing run. This one doesn't have a tooltip yet. So let's call it in and you can choose a direction. And then here it comes. Hopefully some big damage. I've just packed everything in here. A little bit of a delay before it hits. And then huge damage there. That's two shots come in. You have a total of two shots. Damage the tank a bit there, so useful. Damage the other guy's stuff. Next up, we're going with the cluster bombing run. This drops a cluster of bombs in a target area, dealing heavy damage in an area. So let's check that out compared to the other one. Cluster bombs failed, so that's not working. Next up, we have the off-map naval bombardment. Unleashes a naval bombardment on the target position. Deals heavy damage in the large area. So let's get that one in. So that's been us look at the German army. So if you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. And please subscribe if you think you would enjoy this content in the future. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.